Tony Stark might become Doctor Doom in the movies. In the comics, Victor Von Doom doesn't just become Iron Man, he becomes Tony Stark in a body swap experiment. And Doctor Doom isn't created from an accident but from kindness and a desire to help. Hit like and subscribe for more superhero secrets. In a twisted tale from a what-if reality, Reed Richards isn't Victor Von Doom's university roommate, it's Tony Stark. Doom isn't impressed with Stark's casual attitude to his studies and is horrified when Stark corrects his formula. The big difference between Stark and Reed Richards is status and money. Stark has both and Doom is going to take them. After telling Stark that he needs to take desperate measures to stay in school, Doom shows Stark his secret lab and asks for help. Even though he knows he could get in trouble, Stark helps Doom, little knowing he is being led into a trap. There is some evidence. Stark recognizes some of the technology Doom is using. When Stark asks, Doom dismisses his concerns. Instead, Doom tells him the machine will unlock the human mind making telekinesis possible. Stark aids in the construction of the machine and even volunteers to test it. Doom asks if he is sure, but it is merely a deception. Doom locks Stark into the machine and it is clear that Stark's suspicions were correct. Doom tells him that the machine will swap their minds in a Freaky Friday experiment. When the procedure is complete, Stark's mind is in Doom's body and has been wiped of any memories of his life. In the body of Victor Von Doom, Stark is kicked out of university and forced to return to Latveria. He is disgraced and penniless. His life quickly deteriorates. As Tony Stark, the brilliant and ruthless Doom is free to wreak havoc on Stark Industries. Howard Stark stands in Doom's way, blocking the more villainous actions of the man he thinks is his son. Doom quickly eliminates Howard Stark, enabling him to take over control of the company. With Stark's wealth, technology, and influence at his fingertips, Doom reshapes the company to achieve his dark plans of control and domination. He uses any means necessary to increase his wealth and his power. He uses his genius to develop weapons with staggeringly destructive powers. In the meantime, Stark pulls himself out of despair. He studies and earns his doctorate. Making him Dr. Doom. But he isn't interested in domination and power. He starts a company and creates an arc reactor. Such an advancement impacts the profits and power of Doom's company. To destroy the threat, Doom decides to use a prototype battle suit. A suit not unlike the one created by a different Tony Stark in a different universe. Except this one is in Doom Green. When Doom attacks, Stark uses a rescue suit combining Latverian design with cutting-edge technology to survive the most hazardous situations. A suit that looks like Dr. Doom after his accident. Except this one is in Iron Man Red and Gold. Doom steals the arc reactor plans and encounters a surprise in the form of Stark. Doom isn't bothered by the interruption and goes ahead and destroys the arc reactor, telling Stark by the time he rebuilds, it will be too late. Doom attempts to flee in the battle suit. Stark uses the magnetic powers of the rescue suit to stop him. Doom is a little impressed with the technology, but quickly dismisses the threat with a couple of missiles. All too quickly, Stark uses the magnetism to return the missiles to Doom, blowing him out of the sky. Now Doom is annoyed. He attacks with a barrage of bullets and repulsor blasts. The rescue suit holds up against the onslaught, but won't last for much longer. Luckily, Doom is close enough for Stark to use the power of the rescue suit's gauntlets to crush the repulsors of the battle suit. Doom unleashes the full force of the unibeam blast, pushing back the rescue suit. Stark knows his suit is no match for the weaponry of the battle suit. But he has an idea. He hacks into the cybernetic control system of the battle suit and detonates the missiles. On his knees and defeated, Doom pleads for his life. He even tells Stark his real identity and promises to swap back their bodies. But Stark refuses, telling him that the name Stark is synonymous with greed and cruelty. He says he is Dr. Doom and he is honorable man. With Robert Downey Jr. taking the role of Dr. Doom there is a great deal of discussion about what is going to happen to the characters of Doom and Stark. In this what-if story, there is a great deal missing from the character of Dr. Doom. He is not the ruler of Latveria, but Stark has brought peace and prosperity to the country. The biggest element missing are his mystical powers. Dr. Doom's suit is a combination of technology and magic. It enables him to go up against heroes like Blade, Spirit Rider, and Magic. It even enables Doom to challenge Clea Strange for the title of Sorcerer Supreme after the murder of Dr. Strange. As for the character of Victor Von Doom, would he really plead for his freedom? Probably not. This is obviously a very different Victor Von Doom. Had he not been humiliated in the presence of Reed Richards and or horribly disfigured, he might be a very different character. Achieving success by taking over Stark's life creates a different Victor Von Doom. One that has not been forged by defeat and one that does not lives with a hatred for Reed Richards. As for Tony Stark, in this story he loses everything including his identity. 
it's similar to his Iron Man origin story without the threat of overwhelming forces and without the injury that causes him to build his suit in the first place. Maybe in this existence, he becomes a better man after failure rather than a more dramatic injury. Thanks for joining us to the end. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Do you think Robert Downey Jr. will make a good Doctor Doom? What story do you think Marvel will use to explain Stark as Doctor Doom? Leave your comment below.